Hello and welcome to day 23 of the July daily vlogs. Well unfortunately it's half past eight in the evening and I haven't picked the camera up at all today. <laughs> I've not been doing anything film worthy today I'm afraid. Uh, I went to work this morning and basically what have I done at work? I've been sorting out the new fabrics, pricing them up, getting them on the shelves. Um, then taking some photographs of some fat quarter bundles that I've got. So I did that. It's been very, very quiet in the shop today. Not really seeing anybody today. And there's been really nobody in the town centre. It's been dire today. I think everybody's gone on holiday. <laughs> it's not really very good, is it? Uh, so yes, so it has been quiet. But I have been keeping myself busy. I've done no crochet or no sewing today. My wrist is feeling somewhat better today, which is good. Uh, but yeah, so that's been about it for work really. After I finished work, I went to Tesco with Adele. I needed a bit of shopping for the weekend. Um, got my mother-in-law some bits as well, because she she's sort of on a self-isolation at the minute because her friend has got COVID and is quite, quite poorly. So, of course, she's worried about them, but she's also panicking about herself, thinking she might have caught it, which is a good chance that she could have picked it up. But so far, she's tested negative and she hasn't got any symptoms. So that is good. So we're sort of back to sanitising now and obviously stay keeping our distance away. So, like I say, we've been up there, taken up some shopping, um, having watered the garden for her. And watered next doors because they've gone on holiday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's been about it. So that's really been my day. I must admit, this afternoon when I got in, I was really, really tired. So I sat down and I was looking at some stuff on my phone. And the next minute, I could feel myself dropping off to sleep, <laughs> which I obviously needed a little bit of a sleep. So yeah, that wasn't very good. It's not like me to just drop off to sleep in an afternoon. Uh, so yeah, so then we had tea tonight, a lovely prawn linguine and some um, some nice flat bread to go with it and some, a selection of olives and things like that. This was a belated anniversary dinner that Adele prepared for us. So yes, that was nice. I mean, we, we knew we were going to have it at some point <laughs> this week as uh, she was busy last weekend. <clears throat> so yes, that was nice. So I've got myself a glass of gin where wherever it is. Oh, it's here. It's here. I've got my gin. Oh, this is my root blueberry gin, which is quite nice. It is a little bit strong there. <laughs> oh, I thought it might keep me going because I didn't get to get my gin last night when I got back in the house. When I got in, I just said to Adele, oh, can you make me a cup of tea, please? So she did. <laughs> and I had that and then I went to bed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but I am actually out here because I want to do a little bit of sewing. I've got time now. So I did bring up one of the panels from the shop. And this is the dog panel. So like I've said before, any dog lovers out there. So that's one side of the panel. And the other side of the panel is that. And that's your handle or your hanger and then there's lots of circles on there there's some there and there's also some there and you've also got a dog bandana which is the largest one for a large dog and basically what you do is you cut that down to suit your dog so as this is going to go for milo I have got a pattern size already cut out for him somewhere, but I can't find it at the minute, so I'm not going to stitch that tonight. I think I've left all my pattern pieces at work. So I'll have to get that when I'm back in work, and then I can make him a dog bandana. And then I can take the bandana round to their house and, and the stocking. I'm going to stuff the stocking with some bags. And I'm going to see if they can take some photographs of him with his bandana and hopefully sat next to the stocking. 
he does anything for a treat so he might sit there for a few minutes to snap some pictures because I would like to put them on my website to go with the stocking panel so yeah so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to get this cut out and get it stitched and I will be back to show you what it looks like I might not make any of these tags up tonight because I don't think I'm going to have time but I think on all the stockings that I, I will have made I am going to use some of the tags and I will make them up another day but I think as this one's got lots of tags on it circles I want to do something different with them now I did think about using that one for Milo's stocking and maybe just stitching his name on there and then for the others, I, I've been thinking about this today and I might make some like baubles for the Christmas tray. Some just slightly stuffed baubles, maybe with a plain bag and, and either put like his name on or Merry Christmas on. And then maybe for the others, I might make a, a greetings card, just a very simple plain greeting, greetings card with them on. So I have to watch this space. So hopefully I'll be doing that sometime over the next few days <laughs> so I'll catch you all in a little bit and I've enjoyed um, having a little sewing time tonight it's been lovely um, 40 minutes to make a stocking not bad but it didn't happen tonight <laughs> I got uh, interrupted I had uh, my little helper around he'd come for a little visit and uh, yeah I was sort of chatting away with him and Adele and I lost track of time a bit so he's off home now though so yes, I got my stocking finished and it's it's really, I love it, this is really nice, it's, it's just such an easy make and like I said, I've not, um, I've not quilted it, I'm being lazy I think really, <laughs> but at least it's a nice sample to go up in the shop. I can't make up my mind which side I like the best to be honest, I like both sides. But I was thinking, um, this plain part here and here, you could um, embroider the dog's name on it or the owner, that would be nice. Hand stitch it, uh, maybe do like a cross stitch or something, get some waste canvas and cross stitch on there or sublimate or machine embroider. So yeah. I think that's going to look nice. Christmas stockings hanging up in the shop already. I've got the Grinch and yesterday's one hung up, so this will go up next week. <laughs> so yeah, oh, I've enjoyed that. Um, also, I found my dog bandana pattern for Milo. So I cut the fabric down and I have put the piece on the back, so it's just like the dog bandanas that I make. So there it is, it's all the little doggies on with some presents. And on the back is Holly, so he, he can have some reversible collar. So there we go, like that one day, Christmas day. It could be like that. This next one, that's what I like. So yes, I'm really looking forward to giving them to to him, so we can have a little photo shoot. <laughs> I hope he behaves himself and we can get some nice pictures because that would be really, really good. Yeah, so yeah, I think that's me done now really because it's uh, time's getting on now and I think I'll probably edit this little vlog and pop it up tomorrow. It'll go one, well, no, wait a minute. I'll edit the vlog tomorrow and it will go up tomorrow because it's only quite short. I don't think we'll have even 10 minutes on this one, <laughs> but at least it's a little vlog going up. So I hope you enjoy it and thank you for joining me for this very short vlog and I will see you all again tomorrow. I should have a few more things to do tomorrow. I might, depending on the weather and how warm it is, I might do a little bit of baking. But like I say, it just depends on the weather and it also depends if I need to go out or not. So... We'll just see what happens tomorrow, won't we? Have a good evening, everybody. Bye for now.